Breast screening uh, for breast cancer after implant surgery is a really important area to understand. So your breast doesn't actually know there's an implant in there. The implant is put behind the breast, not into it. Whether it's above or below the muscle, it's still behind the breast. For breast screening, um, you can self-examine just as well after implants as before. In fact, personally, I think it's kind of easier to examine a breast with implants in it than not. Your doctor can examine the breast adequately. There's no breast tissue hidden by the breast implant. Um, you can have an ultrasound, completely the same with and without implants. You can have an MRI scan, same with and without implants. Um, you can have a CT scan, no difference with implants. The one test that may be affected by implants is a mammogram. And a mammogram involves an x-ray test that squeezes your breast. And if you've got an implant in and you don't have much breast tissue, you may well not be advised to have a mammogram because you can potentially damage the breast capsule. It used to be a real problem because we had patients who needed mammograms who really couldn't have them. In more recent times, with the wide availability of MRI scanning, then someone who can't have a mammogram with safety or with comfort should, for breast screening um, purposes, uh, have an MRI scan, which are readily available and have a cost attached to them, but usually not a prohibitive one. So in summary, breast screening after breast implant surgery can be done as effectively as without implants, might be a little more fiddly, that's all.